an alert system to detect tsunami for Indian Ocean countries officially kicked off Wednesday, almost seven years after a massive tsunami was triggered by a major earthquake off Indonesia's Sumatra Island. 23 countries participated in a full-scale exercise Wednesday to test the system by simulating the parameters of an earthquake. The simulated quake was later followed by an ocean-wide tsunami, whose wave has been predicted to cross the Indian Ocean within 12 hours to strike the coast of South Africa. Very strange that yet another high school has experienced a lockdown with the seemingly unknown potential threat cited, and, eventually unfounded. This article states that deputies were on campus and working with teachers and administrators according to school officials. Breaking news. 7 o'clock est on October 13th. Powerful storms sweep through Augusta, Georgia, region. Trees, power lines down. At least 1,149 homes are without power in North Augusta and Aiken. Another 500 outages were reported in Edgefield, South Carolina, and McCormick. Tornado watch in effect until 11 p.m. for most of the D.C. area and a possible tornado reported near epicenter of August earthquake. A storm moving up the Potomac River to D.C. has produced frequent lightning. The storms have had the potential to drop hail and up to six inches of rain in an hour, meteorologist Doug Cameron reported. Here come the engineered cloud bursts. At minimum, this is a wall cloud. At maximum, it is a blocked view of a tornado. Occupy Wall Street protesters plan to form a human chain around Zuccotti Park tomorrow morning. They are ordered to leave, for what is said to be a major cleaning of the park, but there is worry that this is just a ploy to get the protesters out so that they can't get back in. Police Commission Raymond Kelly has confirmed camping gear won't be allowed back in Zuccotti Park after power washing. But, protesters voted to spend $3,000 from $150,000 fund of donations on power washers, gardening supplies, and pro-sanitation workers. I think it's safe to assume that Occupy Wall Street is not leaving. Federal jury convicted three North Carolina men Thursday in a trial that focused on a plot to carry out terrorist attacks on the U.S. Marine Corps base at Quantico, Virginia, and foreign targets. Canadian cities are expected to get their first taste of the Occupy Wall Street movement this weekend amid questions about what reception the north of the border version of demonstrations against corporate greed, wealth concentration and other grievances will get. While the mass demonstrations enter their fourth week in the United States, it is unclear how much public support the Canadian events will draw, or how long the planned occupations will last. Insane ban on cash transactions in Louisiana. This summer, the state legislature and governor of Louisiana passed a law that bans individuals and businesses from transacting in cash if they are considered a second-hand dealer. House Bill 195 of the 2011 Regular Session Act 389. A second-hand dealer shall not enter into any cash transactions in payment for the purchase of junk or used or second-hand property. Payment shall be made in the form of check, electronic transfers, or money order issued to the seller of the junk or used or second-hand property. The genetic code of the germ that caused the Black Death has been reconstructed by scientists for the first time. The researchers extracted DNA fragments of the ancient bacterium from the teeth of medieval corpses found in London. They say the pathogen is the ancestor of all modern plagues. Santa Cruz, California Police are testing prototype software that predicts where crimes may be committed in the next few days. The deputy chief of police thinks that it may help police patrol areas that aren't hotbeds of shady activity. Santa Clara University mathematician George Moeller developed the algorithm, it is said. A 
cargo ship that has spilled hundreds of tons of oil since striking a reef off New Zealand's coast appeared to be breaking up in heavy seas Thursday, as its captain faced criminal charges in court Wednesday. Canis says the plight of the beleaguered airline is getting worse, not better, as engineers prepare to walk off the job on Friday afternoon. It comes a day after the airline announced it was grounding five planes and cutting 97 domestic services because of what they say is a maintenance backlog. Fake, fake, fake. But, now, anyway, ridiculousness is about to happen, as the Obama administration said Thursday that it was actively considering sanctioning Iran's central bank in retaliation for an alleged Iranian bombing plot, a move that could severely damage Iran's economy and potentially provoke a strong response from Tehran.